Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got a brand new reaction. It is to the new Cloud Nun and Skybreak track, Feeling Free. This one's got a lot of anticipation and hype coming up onto this track, and I am one that is very excited for it for a couple reasons. Uh, one, I'm a huge fan of both Cloud Nun and Skybreak, and so I just love a collaboration like this. Um, two, this is Cloud Nun's uh, first uncaged release, first Monster Cat uncaged release, uh, which is very fascinating. So I'm very intrigued to see if the style is going to be uh, a little bit more of like an instinct uncaged fusion, or if it's just going to sound um, kind of like instincty, but um, just with the uh, Skybreak. So I'm not sure how it's going to go, but uh, I am excited for this because I love both artists and I am ready to hop on board to go through this musical journey. Uh, this is Cloud Nun and Skybreak feeling free. Let's hop into it. Okay, simple garage. Start from Cloud Nun. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Yo, this is nutty. First drop felt a little cloud nun dominant. So we'll see if the second one's gonna be more skybreak esque. Are they just gonna give us those two? I think so. Wow. What a fun song. Wow. Okay long outro there but uh feeling free cloud nun and skybreak uh that was my first uh real listen to the track uh and so let's get my thoughts I really love this song uh, right off the bat. I am I'm a huge fan of this. Uh, I think a lot of that comes from the sound design um that is it feels perfectly uh like uncaged like Cloud Nun in that sense where it is very much, you can hear Cloud Nun's like iconic like synth sounds and little melody lines and all that kind of stuff. Um, but then just, I mean, I've always hailed Skyrake as just a, a master of sound design and the, the, co the combination of the two makes for an absolutely stellar uh, track production wise. Um, and to the point where I'm the, my only real gripe with the song is that it's just, it's too short. Um, <laughs> I've always been a proponent of longer tracks. And so uh, I would have loved maybe even a third movement in this, something like that. But uh, like, and that's just a minor gripe because man, that, that was, 
That was fun. I, I really enjoyed that track quite a bit. Um, I I will say I didn't hear, I, I did as much as it sounded like, you know, some collaborations sound like they're like, uh, oh, like I can perfectly tell this these two artists combined in one. This does feel more like a Cloud None dominated track, um, which is totally fine. It's just stylistically the way that it kind of went. Um, I've kind of had that more uh, like garage lounge house style just to a little bit more, a little bit more oomph, a little bit more girth, a little bit more just kind of... Um, a dirtiness, I would say, uh, to uh, the, all the hits, both the bassline and the synths. And so that's, I think, largely in part to uh, Skybreak's uh, proponents there. So I don't think, uh, I think this track specifically wasn't meant to be, like, Skybreak does a lot of, like, um, very, really fun, like, soloing style of melodies and these, like, really uh, flowy and floaty, uh, just, <laughs> I don't know, structure and just uh, parts of songs. And so I think this one wasn't necessarily that. It wasn't aiming to be that kind of uh, style. It wasn't meant to be something like that. And was a little bit more of a just, I don't know, just well put together, well kind of more grounded in that sort of garage sound with a kind of a DNB back end that it was. And um, because that back the backdrop was was just kind of purely drum and bass to some extent. And so uh, this was a kind of more nightlife kind of fusion track that um, the kind of bright sounds and synths and airy and airy melodies of Skybreak uh, doesn't quite go as well. And so um, on a track like this, just structurally or tonally, I think they're quite different. Um, but combining them into one in one style, I think Skybreak did a great job with this and sort of Cloud Nun. But um, yeah, and so going back to my original note here, I think this sounds more like a 70% Cloud Nun, 30% Skybreak, uh, but I think it's very intentionally stylized that way. And Skybreak is meant to be more of a supporting role, I would say maybe in, in this track. And so I actually really liked it uh, a ton. Um, and I, I did actually like the structure of it. It did feel more like a Cloud Nun dominated track, but uh, I still, man, I can hear it all. I can hear all the elements of both Cloud9, all the elements of Skybreak, and uh, how it just comes together for a fantastic track. So, uh, uh, yeah, I really enjoy that. I think this might be one of my uh, top tracks of Monster Cat this year, uh, I would say for sure. Um, and another, oh, another thing I was going to mention is that I, I feel like over the years, Monster Cat, in, to some extent, has sort of lost the more, I don't know, underground sound, like a more really, truly new style of, of a sound on a track. And I think this is that. This gives me, like, it, it threw me back into, like, an old school, like, golden era for me personally of Monster Cat days where I'm, like, listening to, like, oh, this is something very new that I actually haven't heard in a while or haven't really heard in the label a ton. And so um, it just felt f fresh and it felt new and it felt fantastic. I loved everything about it. Um, so way to go. Cloud Nun, Skybreak. Uh, feeling free. Uh, one of my favorite tracks, Monster Cat, this year, hands down. So, uh, yeah, but other than that, uh, I'd love to know what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Uh, leave any and all thoughts you have about there. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.